Valve has announced Proton Next, a new standalone version of Proton they will use to showcase and allow you to test the next upcoming stable version of the Proton compatibility layer. Once ready, Proton Next will become Proton 7.0-5 replacing the current stable version of Proton 7. And then when Valve are ready to let you test another version, Proton Next will become whatever that is. There's a few different versions of Proton now, and it can be a little bit confusing. So as a quick explanation of all the different versions, Proton Experimental is the one that gets regular updates with features and fixes not ready for everyone and it can include some breaking changes and in future it may need new GPU driver versions. Proton Next is the new one which is always going to be the upcoming new stable version of Proton for testing. Proton Hotfix has a few extra fixes for specific games. Proton 7.0 is the current stable series of Proton used for most Windows games on Linux and Steam Deck. And then you also have the Proton 6.3 series, 5.0, 4.2 and so on. These are all the older stable versions left up in case specific games need them. You also have GE Proton which is made by the community and not supported by Valve and you should only use that if you absolutely have to. Really, you should be sticking with the main Proton 7 version set by Valve, again, unless you need specific fixes included in another version of Proton. So, what is included in Proton Next right now? Quite a lot, actually. The following games are now playable. Rift, Unravel 2, Airborne Kingdom, Nancy Drew, Legend of the Crystal Skull, Revolt, Aspire Inner's Tale, Battle Realm Zen Edition, Death Smiles 2, Primal Carnage Extinction, Pico Park Classic Edition, Six Ages Ride Like the Wind, Dark Star 1, Indiana Jones and the Emperor Tomb, Bulletstorm Full Clip Edition. Now on top of those being newly supported, there are various fixes to other games as well, including... Batman Arkham City launching in the background on Steam Deck when it's set to full screen. They fixed up Marvel's Spider-Man Remaster displaying a dialogue about outdated drivers on AMD systems. Final Fantasy IV 3D Remake having no audio. They fixed Return to Monkey Island not reacting to mouse clicks after a game update. Fixed upside down videos in VRChat and many other games. They fixed Call of Duty, Black Ops 2, Zombies and Multiplayer hanging on Exit. Fixed Bail or Jail crashing when opening the Terms of Service. They've improved GTA 5 with not loading textures. Red Dead Redemption 2 should no longer crash after a recent game update. Final Fantasy 14 Online Launcher should work properly again. They fixed Cutscene Stutter in Disgaea 5. A Thrustmaster Hotus having non-functional dial in Elite Dangerous. Planet Zoo should no longer randomly crash. SCP Secret Laboratory should now be playable after a recent game update broke it again. Tekken 7 should no longer crash on launch. Armello should no longer hang on exiting. Sword Art Online Hollow Realization should no longer freeze after the tutorial. They fixed Space Engineer's intro video not playing correctly. They also fixed the Dragon's Dogma Dark Arisen videos not playing correctly. And they implemented network video support for VR chat. And there was an update to DXVK, which is the Direct 3D to Vulkan translation layer. So quite a few new games are supported, and a lot of fixes there for other games. They have a lot more exciting improvements coming to Proton as well, like the DXVK 2.0 release. This is the translation layer that Proton uses to get Direct 3D 9, 10 and 11 to Vulkan, and that will be in Proton Experimental, and when the GPU drivers are updated to support all the features it needs, this should hopefully solve a lot of the stuttering problems in games. So obviously I'm really excited for that to eventually come over in full as well. So that's it for this update. I hope you like the roundup there. Do let me know what you think of in the comments. As always, the links will be in the description. Do join the Discord if you need any help. A link to that is in the description as well. And I'll see you all later.